Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do my full series review of Behind the Scenes. This is a seven volume series by Bisco Hattori, known most notably for Oren High School Host Club, uh, also put out by Viz. This is just a short and sweet uh, college art prop making club, um, which is quite fun and different. Uh, our main character, Ranmaru, is new in college. He's 19 years old and he gets recruited by the art, I think like the art society or something like that. They have a name specifically for their club, but basically they make the props and costumes for all of the different filmmaking clubs on campus. And there are several different filmmaking clubs and they're the only ones who can make props and costumes. So they're constantly busy running around like chickens with their heads cut off to a bunch of different film sets and, and whatnot. Um, so our main character is quite pessimistic. He is not really interested in being involved in anything but he gets roped into this and it's about him kind of opening up and making friends and you know learning that he's good at something and learning how to take criticism learning how to take responsibility and learning how to take um, praise when you're when you're when you do a good job and all of our characters as you can see on all the covers are kind of zany wacky folks all in this club and then you meet obviously a lot of the characters from all the other filmmaking clubs, the directors, the writers, and all that, who have to interact with these people uh, in order to get their props made for their movies. Now, the downfall of the series is that it's very short. Uh, Bisco Hattori likes to introduce million and one characters, but with seven volumes, you don't have time to flesh them out. Uh, unfortunately, with something like Oren, you can introduce a million and one characters because you had 18 volumes to flesh out those characters. This volume has seven, or this series has seven volumes. Besides our main couple of characters, you really don't get a chance to get to know all those side characters, uh, which is unfortunate. The other thing about this is that it is set in college. Our main character is 19. The other characters are between the ages of 19 and 23 or so. Um, they don't really act like it though, which is unfortunate. They don't act like kids, but I feel like you could have told me this was set in high school and I would have believed you. Uh, when I get a se when I read a series about either about adults, these these are adults, they're young adults. I want it to feel like it's about young adults. Um, and 19 is still young, but I would have expected a little more from the folks who were in their early 20s. Uh, but maybe it's I never went to college or university, so I don't know if this is what it's like an over dramatized uh, over dramatic and over comedic version of that but i don't know if people in college and university still act like they're in high school i'm not sure i never went but it just felt like they were acting a bit younger than they should have been which is also unfortunate that being said though i really did enjoy this series i love bisco uh, hattori um and this was a fun little series about a club that I have not read about before. I hadn't read about filmmaking and uh, specifically prop making and all that in manga before, so this was a fun little trip and something a bit different and very reminiscent of Oren with the way uh, the characters are, the zaniness of them, the kind of wacky, bizarre behaviors and the fact that it's a club. Um, it was very reminiscent of Oren, but unfortunately, like I mentioned, not able to flesh out characters in that same way. There's a bit of romance, but that's not the main focus of this story. The main focus is character growth, um, the growth of our main character here. Um, and there's, the author wrote a note about, you know, that she wanted to write a story about a very pessimistic main character who kind of learns to open his eyes to the world a bit and, you know, learns that not everything is so bleak. Um, that things can be fun, that you can enjoy life, that you can uh, be good at something and take pride in your work. And that's what is nice about this series. So I think it's a fun short series. It's not spectacular and it's not mind-blowing, but I really did enjoy it and I would recommend it um, if you're looking for something just a little bit different, but you know, with the caveat that it really doesn't have enough time to flesh out all these characters the way that 
um, it just doesn't give them the justice that I think they could they could have they they deserve. Um, but it's a fun little ride, and I don't regret buying it. I do, I did really enjoy it, and it's also a little bit of a break in shoujo because it doesn't focus specifically on the romance. There's a few little romances here and there, but it really is about um, this club and their activities. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I would recommend it, but you know, heed the warnings that I had mentioned. Anyway, if you've read it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, thanks for watching.